Okay, so I've been trying to catch this critter. It's been trying to eat my fish. Let's see if we got it. What's up, fish fam? I'm Dan from Michigan Aquatics, and today we're gonna have a talk. Come on, come on, go. Yes, it's cold. Okay. So, thank you everyone so much. I hit 60 subscribers last night. I can't. But yes, I hit 60 subscribers, and actually, today I made 62. Thank you everyone coming over from Mac. It means a lot. And two videos ago, I did a um, contest. Whoever could guess the name of the song I was singing with my baby sister would get pinned in a shout out. So it's only fair if I give him a shout out as well. Matt the More Cichlids, he got the artist name. I asked for the song name. So he don't really need a shout out anyway. He has 600, probably 30 subscribers right now. 630, more than likely. He got the artist name Hank Williams, but Matt's Fishkeeping got the rest of it. So everyone go check out Matt's Fishkeeping. He has a 55-gallon tank with three geophagus, black sand, an OB peacock, and I'm pretty sure he has a blood parrot in there. But really cool channel. He's making a three-gallon shrimp tank currently. Last shout-out I gave him, he got a whole bunch of subscribers which is awesome. Me and him are pretty good friends now. We communicate a lot. And he literally just started his channel like not even a month ago and he's already got what 19, 20 subscribers? That's really good. He's blowing up faster than I did. Which isn't very fast, but still. Now that I've hit that 60 mark, I think I'm going to be doing, I'm still going to do how-to videos and stuff, but I'm going to be doing a lot more update videos and vlog videos for fish, like more fish store videos like I didn't do enough already. But today we're going to be doing an update, obviously on the Dragon Blood Peacock Cichlid. That's him right there. He is beautiful. I love him. Now, a little backstory on these guys. I made a video uh, like a week or two back on this guy and saying I really wanted one, but I didn't know if it would work in the 55. I still don't know if it'll work. I must have made some sort of mistake because I ended up buying, what are you doing, Cody? <laughs> I ended up buying one with mild ick, which is fine. I can probably treat it or maybe treat it, but if I put some food in there, he'll start swimming around and stuff. Well, he's still swimming around and stuff. Um, he's just sitting right there now. His fins are incredibly cramped. He does do a little bit of flashing like you just seen there and scratching and stuff. But other than that, he's perfectly fine and extremely bright and colorful. I love the bright white on his nose. You guys can't see it. He just looks completely white to you guys because this camera is not the best camera. But he is full of blues and light orange, obviously, because he's young. And just he has a bright iridescent white on his nose, which is one of the things I wanted with the OB peacock, but it was going to be blue. You can see here, he'll start to see a little bit more color now that he's starting to swim around. Um, I'll post a video, um, a little bit later if you want me to. It was filmed on my phone, which has, it catches a lot better blue and reds and yellows and stuff than this one does. So you'll be able to see his full color, because right now he just looks like an albino cichlid, an albino African cichlid. But he, he's not, and oh my gosh, do I love this fish. I sure hope I can treat him. Other than that, he's doing fine. He sits over here with Frank, because Frank apparently likes him. The convicts mess with him a little bit when he goes over here, and the jag barely messes with him. I'm actually very surprised how little the jag messes with him. You can see a little bit of color on his fins there. Like, that times five is his fin color, fin and body coloration. Oh boy, someone's calling. Let's see if it's a scammer. Can't wait. Hello? 
So I paused it because it was my mom and not a scammer. We just get a lot of scammers on that phone. Um, there's something I haven't come clean about to you guys. Um, I did do a really bad thing in school. I'm not going to explain what that was, but I am currently on probation for it, and um, I'll never do it again. So don't worry, I don't want to lose subscribers, but I am on probation. I've been meaning to come clean about that for a while now. You can see it's flashing right here. It's pretty good flashing, actually. See? Scratching and flashing and stuff. Just the usual ick signs. But I am currently on probation for doing a bad, bad thing. But I'm not a bad, bad kid at all. It was just... That's why I'm homeschooled now. I wanted to come out because I never wanted to hang around them kids again. So I hope everyone doesn't get mad at me for that. I just feel that I should come out about my feelings a little bit more. And everyone should know that because if I suddenly stop posting on Mac and stop responding to everyone on Mac, that's why. Um, Because he might say, no, you can't be on that. My probation officer might say that. But I don't think he will. He's a really nice guy. We're pretty good friends, actually. But back to the peacock cichlid. Now, he does have ick. 100% has ick. I'm sure of it. But it's mild. Um, I'm going to be treating him tonight at, like, um... I think I'll treat him tonight at 7 o'clock and go through a three-day period. After three days, it should hopefully be gone. I've treated um, with the same stuff for velvet. So... Don't be afraid, you guys. I think I can handle this one. But don't think any lower of Moby Dicks. I'm telling you, if you get a chance to go to Michigan, if you don't live there already, you need to check out Moby Dicks Pet Store. It is only in Michigan. There's, I think there's only one store in Michigan, and it's in Clarkston. Moby Dicks, Clarkston, Michigan. Look it up on Google or something and find it. It's an awesome place. Their fish are always high quality, you know. All fish stores get sick fish. They all get sick. When you got a net flying in there all the time, scooping up fish, it was really busy that day. Whoo! Frank got you there. <laughs> but when you got a when you got a net scooping up fish all the time and stuff, you know, they're gonna get sick sometimes. Even Bruce Pets, one of the number one aquarium places, one of the number one pet stores in the in the U.S. the United States here. Had a whole jaguar cichlid tank full of gold jaguars that was sick with ick. Ick, though, is a common disease and extremely treatable. Um, but thank you, you guys. I'm at 62 subscribers, and it means a lot. As well as, speaking of Proust Pets, if I can get to 70 subscribers by the end of November, which means December... If I can hit 70 subscribers in the beginning of December, like the day or a week after December, I will go back to Proust Pets. And I'll film another video. I more than likely won't buy any fish because this tank is now fully stocked. I can't fit in anything else in it. If he dies, I will be buying another Dragon's Blood Peacock. I love him. So if he ends up dying, I'm buying another one. But I'm actually today going to do a water change on the three gallon and ditch these goldfish. I don't really want Henry anymore. Um, I'm not a big fan of be bettas, or at least as big of a fan as I used to be a of bettas. So I really don't want him anymore. So I'm going to let him go. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not going to let him go. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait. I'm either going to... Say, here you go, Pet Supplies Plus, take them, or I'm going to wait till he dies. But, you know, I let people stock this tank. Um, I was recommended guppies, so I think I'm going to put guppies in this tank. And comment down below if you think we should get my baby sister a surprise tank, like a little one gallon, and put a couple um, guppies in it, you know, and then breed them and use the baby feeders. What are you doing? Crazy cat! Then use the feeders to feed Frank to make him nice and colorful. Do not worry though, you guys. I will keep you updated on this guy. Um, I can do everyday videos if you want me to, everyday updates. And I'll be doing updates on Mac Mix African Cichlids. I promise. No! Don't. Stop it! Cody. No! Wow, are you gorgeous! 
And you aren't even an adult. I don't know if you guys know what these guys look like. He, I know what he's probably going to look like when he's older. He's not going to look like the super red ones, I think they're called. Like this guy. I don't think he's going to look like that. He's going to look like this guy, which is equally as beautiful. The picture I'll be showing you right here is of Matthew Moore Cichlid's um, Dragon's Blood Peacock that he had a while back. Go check him out. Like He has some awesome videos. He does Tanganyikan um, African cichlids, so more of the rare ones and smaller ones and nano ones. He just got two brand new beautiful trophies. Because I know I have some subscribers that aren't from Mac. Make sure you go check out Matthew Moore cichlids. He is awesome. If you want to know who designed my awesome logo, which I really, really love, go check out Electric Waters. I think the logo is awesome. And they got some pretty cool videos over there. So go check them out. Do you, like, the logo is awesome. Like, here's a picture of it right here. It is, well, the old one looks different. Um, I only have that saved on the internet now. I deleted it off my gallery because this one's way cooler. This one's my favorite. I don't know why. I think it's just the way the words look. Um, the American flag one is actually my um, banner, as you guys would notice. It says Michigan Aquatics as well. Here's a picture of that right here. But this one is, like, I love that it has the white background to make it stand out a little bit more when you look up my name. With the both the lower and upper peninsula of Michigan are in American flags. Super patriotic. Oh, boy. What are you doing? Yes, that is going to keep you nice and warm, Miranda. Just put on shoes and a hat. Get in here. Come inside. You're going to get sick. Whatever. I'll let her get sick. She'll learn. She's three. But I'm, I'll, I'll go get her and bring her back in once I'm done filming. But her show isn't going to be on. There it goes. I completely forgot what I was talking about before. But I'm going to express it again. My videos run off of what you guys want to know. Fish Talk Fridays are a series that I'm doing. And I need a fish for this Fish Talk Friday. I don't have nothing to talk about. I don't talk about fish that I've just bought till a week after I've had them. So, so I know that they have a better chance at living. So I need a fish for Fish Talk Friday. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. What fish for Fish Talk Friday? And I'll see everyone in the next one. Fish on.